Val plays Skyrim. Previously, we uh, just obtained our second dragon word of power, or just word of power, I guess they're called. Now, I could have sworn I had killed a second dragon, but it does not say that I have an extra soul, I guess. I'm not exactly sure where to look for where. Oh, one dragon soul. Yeah, see, I got a soul. Oh, okay, wait, I have to unlock it. Oh, that's why. There we go. Spend soul. There we go. So, I just got my second <laughs> shout power. Voice soothes wild beasts who lose their desire to fight or flee. Excellent, so if I get charged by, like, a saber cat or something like that, it now will not hurt me. So I can equip either this power or the shout. They, they are on the same uh, key. This dragon skin's a good power, but it's a one day thing. One day. Okay. So I think I'm gonna leave my horse down here. I don't want my horse to die because this travel, this road. It's probably going to suck going up this mountain. Going all the way up this mountain. I'm going to go all the way up this mountain without my horse. Is that stupid? Or should I just let my horse die if necessary? Because I know there's going to be shit on the road. This is a big quest thing. Yeah, he can stay here where he's safe. Well, I'll take him up a little bit. About till it starts getting hairy. No, I didn't go everywhere in town. I didn't talk to everybody. I just talked to the innkeeper. And generally, that's all you have to do, right? Ooh, wheat. I know wheat is good for making. Um, you keep your distance with that magic. Looking at me, harvesting your wheat. It's made for it makes healing potions. Yeah, I can because I have a fire thing following me. <laughs> On your way up to seven thousand steps again, Clement? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Rothgar. The path isn't safe. Uh, you can rehear uh, Vilkis of the Companions voice there. Yeah, you can tell they don't have too many people. Emblem 1. Before the birth of men, the dragons ruled all Mundus. Their world was the voice, and they spoke only for true needs, for the voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. The voice power of the dragons is very strong. Look at that, already a monster. Shooting web at me. Alright, horsey. Stay down there. Oh, he's gonna run up there and attack anyway. Go, flame guy. Horse wants to come, so. Oh, maybe I'll just will leave him. It'll be easier. Leave him here. Go.
I wouldn't miss that next thing. I was not super looking for it at the beginning. Nope, here it is. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Aye. Emblem 2. Men were born and spread over the face of Mundus. The dragons presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. What is that? Oh, she was caught up. Ice ray. Is it another one? Oh no, it's something else. Wow, that's gonna be nasty. Look at that. Mid air. Lydia. There she comes. What if we can trigger sneak off like animals? Should make sense. Emblem 3. The fledgling spirits of men were strong in old times, unafraid uh, to war with dragons and their voices. But the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. Oh, we got something bad coming. They don't like fire. Nope.
looks like this is the next one. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Rothgar. I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. All right, then. Emblem 4. Kaine called on Parthernax, who pitied man. Together they taught men to use the voice. Then dragon war raged, dragon against tongue. Men got the power of the voice. You're fucking kidding. Sorry for the language there, but uh, maybe he's just circling. It'd be quite unfortunate to fight a dragon on such a uh, bad territory. Or terrain, I mean. Uh oh. Ice trolls. Saw that ice troll running back there. So they're definitely close. Emblem 5. Man prevailed, shouting Alduin out of the world, proving for all that their voice was too strong, although their sacrifices were manyfold. Ah, I think he was going to sneak up on me. I don't think so. He was going to jump down on me when I was coming down here. This was the path right here. I don't think so. Let's quick save. Probably a good idea. Whatever it looks like on the map, where are we at? Oh, we're getting there. With roaring tongues, the Sky Children conquer, founding the first empire with sword and voice, whilst the dragons withdrew from this world. And we know about the Tibium Septum from Oblivion, you know. The kings had dragon blood. Seven. The tongues at Red Mountain went away humbled. Jurgen Windcaller began his seven year meditation to understand how strong voices could fail. What an episode this is turning out to be. Long old trip. About halfway there. Time, anyway. We got about 15 minutes left. Emblem 8. Jurgen Windcaller chose silence and returned. The 17 disputants could not shout him down. Jurgen the Calm built his home on the throat of the world. That's where we're going now the throat of the world. 
highest peak. There's the fortress, you can see it. Come on, Lydia. From nine. For all for years all silent the greybeard spoke one name, Tiber Septum. Stripling then was summoned to Rothgar. They blessed and named him Dovakim. Here we are.